It's Corey Alexander here with you. Oh man, you were. I thought you were going to wear your draft suit tonight. <laughs> oh man, I'm not like you. I don't. I don't have all the gear. Back in '95, though, what, what did you wear for the draft when you were taken in the first round? My I friend? had on a t-shirt and a pair of shorts because I was at home <laughs> with my family or friends, scared to death as to where I was going to go in the draft. Didn't want to see it, and actually never got a chance to see my name get called until much later. It does make a difference Why? to the players. It, well, it makes a difference one because it throws off your schedule when you think about. You know, athletes are a creature of habit. So when you, it throws off your schedule from the standpoint, and one of the things that Scott Brooks did, he treated this as a early game. So the Wizards actually did not have shoot around today, and that's something that they're used to doing on a weekday game. You're used to a seven o'clock tip. You have your shoot around, but because of that hour moving forward, they had their walkthrough yesterday. And when you think about this, it, just a different feel about it. You don't get shots up early in the mm -hmm. day. You're not in your normal routine. So I does think it makes a difference. It doesn't make a difference to Atlanta mm -hmm. because it's still a road game. So yeah. their, their, their right. schedule really doesn't change, even though it's an hour early. Yeah. Smiles and Corey Alexander. This would be a good time to bring in the experts to break it all down. Gentlemen, your thoughts of this selection. Well, I'll start. I'm a huge fan of Troy Brown, and there's a lot of people in the Wizards fan base that don't know Troy Brown, don't know much about him. Take my word for this. You will love Troy Brown a year from now. He's a great young man, first and foremost. We talked about his age, but he has a maturity beyond his years. But more importantly, he's a very versatile basketball player. We heard Chris Miller talk about the fact that in the playoffs, who was the guy that spelled Brad? They don't know any better. They're just going to go out there and hoop. But again, if you're the Wizards right now, honestly, other than Cleveland, no one in the East scares me. And regardless as to way, the way they've been playing right now, the Wizards do have playoff pedigree with their backcourt. Mm -hmm. When you think about their four or five core players, they have playoff pedigree. And again, if I'm the Wizards, none of these teams outside of Cleveland really scare me going into the playoffs. And that when you talk about the culture of a team, when you bring in young players, you give them the opportunity to learn underneath you and more importantly, show them ways to be successful. With John Wall, with Brad Bill, with Otto Porter, with Kelly Oubre, there are a number of veterans on this team now that can show Troy Brown the way. And these guys want to win. So therefore, it's not about hating on the young fella. It's about helping the young fella and how he can help them win basketball games. I think his athleticism will shine. I agree, with, I agree with Chris. I think his athleticism is off the charts, but just as Chris said, those question marks are based upon the fact that did he produce in college? He wasn't the best player on his team, not even the second best player on his team at Texas Tech, probably third on the depth chart. His production wasn't there. When you have a guy that goes out there and gets it done at that level, at the end of the day, one thing is for certain, when you talk about the best players for the Toronto Raptors, mm -hmm. and you say that is DeMar DeRozan, Kyle Lowry, that's the start for the for the Toronto Raptors. And at the end of the day, if you're the Washington Wizards, you can say at that position, our guys are better. I do believe for the Wizards, it's a better situation that they have a young man who has spent some time in college and is more mature because the Wizards need to make a draft pick that can help them from day one. And that's what you get normally when you have more experienced guys. You think about, we talked about Donovan Mitchell from a year ago. He was in college for two years. And I know it's not a huge difference from being there one, but it does give you an opportunity more so to learn about how to live your life, not just being somewhere for nine months and it's a pit stop along the way. Malcolm Brogdon two years ago, NBA Rookie of the Year. You look back, Ben Simmons was able to grow up a lot in a year that he did not play last year, but you had the exception. Jason Tatum, but he went to a very good team and was around a lot of very good players that allowed him to be able to flourish and have a great season.